The Salmon River is located in Idaho in the northwestern United States. The Salmon is also known as the River of No Return. It flows for 425 miles through central Idaho, draining a rugged, thinly populated watershed of 14,000 square miles and dropping more than 7,000 feet between its headwaters, near Galena Summit above the Sawtooth Valley in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area, and its confluence with the Snake River. Measured at White Bird, its average discharge is 11,060 cubic feet per second. It is one of the largest rivers in the continental United States without a single dam on its mainstem. Cities located along the Salmon River include Stanley, Clayton, Shelley, Salmon, Riggins, and White Bird. Redfish Lake and Little Redfish Lake near Stanley, which flow into the river via Redfish Lake Creek, are the terminus of the longest Pacific Sockey Salmon migration in North America. Course the Salmon River originates from and flows through the mountains of central and eastern Idaho. The main stem rises in the Sawtooth Range at over 9,200 feet in elevation, several miles northwest of Norton Peak. For the first 30 miles, it flows north through the Sawtooth Valley, then turns east at Stanley, receiving the Yankee Fork shortly below that point and the East Fork further downstream. The river then flows northeast receiving the Parsimaroi River at Ellis and then the Leamy River at Salmon, Idaho east of the Leamy Range. North of Salmon, the river is joined by the North Fork, before turning west into over 200 miles of continuous canyons through the Salmon River and Clearwater Mountains a Euro some of the most rugged and isolated terrain in the contiguous United States. Exhibiting upwards of 7,000 feet of vertical relief, the Salmon River canyons are some of the deepest in the U.S., surpassing the Grand Canyon and second only to the Snake River's Hell's Canyon in the Idaho Euro Oregon border. Here, the river is joined by its two largest tributaries, the Middle Fork and South Fork. Ten miles downstream of its confluence with the Middle Fork, the Salmon River becomes the dividing line for the two time zones in Idaho, Mountain Time to the South, Pacific Time to the North, bisecting the state at approximately 45.5 degrees north latitude. The river turns abruptly north at the confluence with the Little Salmon River at Riggins, about 87 miles above its mouth. From there the river flows almost due north, passing White Bird, before looping northwest and south to its confluence with the Snake River north of Hell's Canyon, 15 miles south of the Washington border and 40 miles south of Lewiston. History equals Anthropology equals, The Salmon River area has been home to people for at least the last 8,000 years. Much of the area was inhabited by several tribes, including the Nez Perce. The river was considered sacred ground and a rich source of food for the indigenous people of the area, who relied on the abundant salmon species and other wildlife. Equals core of discovery equals, in August 1805, just after crossing the continental divide of the Americas, Lewis and Clark ventured down the Salmon River, but found it to be too rough to be navigable. Clark wrote, I shall in justice to Captain Lewis who was the first white man ever on this fork of the Columbia call this Lewis River. The westerly fork of the Columbia River, the present Salmon River is double the size of the easterly fork, the present Leamy River and below those forks the river is 100 yards, 100 m, wide, it is very rapid and surely water clear but little timber. The honor didn't last long. By 1810 maps of the area were already referring to Louis River as the Salmon. Clark had thought that the Salmon River was the Snake River, thus he called it the Westerly Fork of the Columbia. The Snake River retained the variant name Lewis River, or Lewis Fork longer than did the Salmon. Equals gold equals, in the 1860s, placer deposits of gold were found along the river, and a gold rush began. Miners came to the area causing clashes with the Nez Perce on their ancestral tribal lands. Many historic and present-day mines can be seen while traveling along the river. Recreation Several national forests and Sawtooth National Recreation Area provide for numerous recreation opportunities within the river's watershed. Two segments are protected as national wild and scenic rivers. The Middle Fork was one of the original eight rivers designated wild and scenic in 1968 and is often considered the crown jewel of the wild and scenic system. 
The Salmon is a popular destination for whitewater kayaking, canoeing and rafting. The canyons of the Salmon allow for magnificent views of the complex geology of the region. The Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness Area includes one of the deepest canyons in the continental United States, which at roughly 7,000 feet of vertical relief, is deeper than the Grand Canyon. Both the Middle Fork and Main Fork travel through the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness Area. The Middle Fork is about 110 miles long, while the Main Fork is about 81 miles long. The Middle Fork raft trip run ends seven miles prior to the beginning of the Main Fork run. Corn Creek is the start of the Main Fork section of the Salmon River. The South Fork of the Salmon flows through Payette National Forest and ends the wild and scenic Main Fork at Mackay Bar. The main fork raft trip ends about 25 miles east of Riggins either at Vinegar Creek or Carey Creek, marking the beginning of the lower salmon rafting section. Boating companies offer both single and multiple day trips on the river. The middle fork of the Salmon River is known as one of the best catch and release fly fisheries in the nation. Other recreational activities along the river include camping, hiking and mountain biking. Wildlife the Salmon River historically produced 45% of all the steelhead and 45% of all the spring and summer Chinook salmon in the entire Columbia River Basin. The Salmon River Basin contains most of the remaining salmon and steelhead habitat in the Columbia River Basin. Despite the abundant salmon habitat in the river, these fish have been declining, in large part because of the effects of four federal reservoirs and dams on the Lower Snake and Columbia Rivers. USGS stations, the United States Geological Survey operates four stream gauge water level monitoring stations on the main stem of the Salmon River and 17 others on its tributaries. Real-time data is available for each station on the USGS website. For a map of these see Salmon River USGS station map or in the box at right. Photo gallery. See also, list of Idaho rivers, list of longest streams of Idaho. List of National Wild and Scenic Rivers References External links, Salmon River Euro Salmon River, Info Hub, visit Idaho.org Euro Idaho Rivers, Salmon River, Middle Fork of the Salmon